Sir, over the years, I occasionally encountered residents dissatisfied with the quality of care received at our public hospitals. Their grievances range from an unexpected death in hospital to a physical accident while conveying a patient causing patient injury. In cases of unexpected death, the coroner and police are likely to be activated, ensuring a strong measure of independence into the inquiry. However, in non-fatal cases, the hospital is usually the one who conducts an investigation or review into the incident. As the hospitals are investigating their own handling of patients, a question that arises would be what safeguards there are to ensure there is independence injected into the review process. How far is input from patients or next of kin sought in such investigations? Would the patient or his representative have the opportunity to contradict evidence presented by the staff? What role does the ministry itself play in ensuring that hospital investigations are fair and transparent to patients? In a 2004 article entitled Quest for Quality Care and Patient Safety, M.K. Lim of the NUS Faculty of Medicine noted that Singapore had more than 10 years ago moved to a broader concept of quality assurance in healthcare that included the monitoring of clinical indicators and medical errors. According to him, what was lacking then included public involvement and patient empowerment. Have we made any improvements in these areas? I am aware that MOH has since moved on and now has a healthcare performance group that oversees clinical quality and care effectiveness. Could the Ministry tell us more about the priorities of this group? Finally, the UK in 2017 set up its Healthcare Safety Investigation Branch, an independent body to conduct no-fault reviews of incidents to enhance patient safety and knowledge sharing across healthcare institutions. How are we doing this here?